What's up guys, Mr. Lee Redden here with episode number 5 of the career mode series. I've now completed the season with Foggia and if everyone remembers correctly I had 7, seven games to go to the end of the season uh, hoping to get into the p promotion places. So what we'll I do is guys, we'll go straight into the fixtures and see how we did. Um, cannot actually remember the last game, I think it was... Sorrento, no, she was Shieta, Shieta, because I went one game extra for some reason. So we'll go straight into the fixtures now, guys. Um, there we go. So this first game was was actually the semi-final of the um, Serie C Cup, as you can see, and I drew Monza, which wasn't a bad draw, and it didn't start very well as we actually drew one-one at home. A David C. Sinigaglia goal put Monza one in in front just before half time. But thankfully, just a couple of minutes after half time, Gilo put us level. Unfortunately, we weren't able to make any more chances count, but luckily, we held out to a 1 1 draw, uh, which is a little disappointing. We had 21 shots of their 13. We had six each on target, and it was exactly 50% each as well. So, quite a decent um, result there. Next game in question was a. 2-2 draw at Arzanesi. Slightly disappointing considering they were bottom of the table. But then you have a look at that and you see I was actually 2-0 down. Francesco Reaper put them 1-0 up in the 13th minute. He then doubled his tally and the lead for Rosinda just 9 minutes later. Thankfully Gilo managed to pull one back with 10 minutes to go before half time. We went in 2-1 down however we were able to pull level with Gilo again. Just after the hour mark to make it 2-2. Two, two. Uh, we weren't able to make any more chances. Cam there with Firm and Riley. We did dominate quite a bit. Uh, but we ended up drawing 2-2 two, two with bottom of the table. Our Sanzi, which was really disappointing. Especially you can see there are 21 shots to 12 in my favour. I had 12 on target to their 5. And they had 54% possession. We then followed that up with a 1-0 home defeat to Turamo. A Bucci goal in the f on the 32nd minute. The only goal of the game to give him the win. Unfortunately, also Marco Fiore was injured just 10 minutes before the goal. And surprise, surprise, they went and scored not long after. 16 shots to 10 in my favour. They had 5 on target to my 4 with 50% possession each. We then followed that up. Getting hammered 5-0 at Monza. Condemi put Monza 1-0 up with just 8 minutes to go before half time. And then Frederica Torati doubled the lead for him just two minutes later. I did go out attacking to try and get something back. Unfortunately, it backfired badly. And Singala scored in for the second time in a tie to put them 3 0 up just after the hour mark. Then, with 11 minutes to go, Torani made a 4 0 on the night. He then doubled his tally to make a 5. In the 83rd minute, we crashed out 6 1 on aggregate. 19 shots to 15 in their favour. I had 12 on target to my 8 and I had 53% possession. We then got our first win of the actual section. 2-1 win at Messina. Gilo put us, oh well, Calabresi put Messina 1 and up with just 6 minutes to go before half time. Thankfully we managed to equalise with just a minute to go before half time and we went in 1-1. This all despite having Mart Matteo Mantovani being sent off after just 16 minutes thanks to two bookable offences. First coming in the tenth minute, then he got the second one six minutes later. For well, thankfully though, Pambianchi gave us the lead in the ninety-third minute and we held on to take the three points and a very valuable three points it was. Twenty three shots to twenty one in my favour. Messina had twelve on target in my ten and fifty one percent of the possession. Followed that up with another defeat, three two at home could Castel Regione. They went 1-0 up in the 28th minute, thanks to Mantonari. Matteo Crazy doubled the lead for him in the 37th minute. Fiore managed to pull one back with just two minutes to go. However, we went in 3-1 down, thanks to an own goal by my centre-back, Luke Liberato Felosa, in the 45th minute. Agnelli was able to pull one back for us again with just a minute to go. However, it was too little too late. We ended up losing 3-2. 12 shots to 10 in my favour. I had 8 on target to their 4 and with 64% possession. So to come away with nothing was extremely disappointing. We then followed that up with a 1-1 draw against Istia. 
G Lopez one up in the twentieth minute. Ricardo equalised for them just two minutes later. And they actually had Catanali sent off for a straight red card in the thirty seventh minute. Unfortunately we were just not able to make the man advantage count and we ended up drawing one one. Twenty one shots each. They had eleven on target to my ten and I had fifty three percent possession. Then a very important win, Martina Franca 3-1. Gilo puts one up in the first minute. He then doubled his tally in the 21st minute. And uh, unfortunately, Gili, Gilio, Gili, sorry, managed to um, pull one back for Franco with just a minute to go before half-time. Thankfully, though, Gilo actually completed his hat-trick just before the arrow mark to give us a 3-1 and a very, very valuable three points. And match stats was 24 shots to 10, 12 on target to my to their three, and they had 57% possession. Now owing to the other results and more owing to the fact of the how the games went on the last day, that 3-1 win against Franca gained us promotion. We were only two points clear of ninth, which is the last place outside the pl um, promotion. Top eight went up. There was me in seventh. Uh, Vigor Lemezio, who I played in the last game in eighth, and uh, one other team in no, was it one of? Or was I sixth? I might have been sixth actually. I was. I was. I was sixth, and I was only two points clear. Seventh and eighth um, were two. Uh, were like a point behind me, and then the team in ninth, the f the j first place outside the um, promotion, was only two points. So mathematically, they could all overtake me. However. Um, seventh and eighth actually played each other, so there was four teams vying for two places, and because of the results, is that right? Well, anyway, because of two, because of the fact that two teams that are vying for the last promotion spot, I could, um, I was promoted due to the fact they were playing each other. So it must have been the fact I was seventh and. I was sick from seventh and eighth. Actually, oh, I don't know. I actually have no idea where I've completely lost my calculations there. But I think if every team had won, if they hadn't been playing each other, then I would have been guaranteed to go. But the fact that two teams were playing each other, I was promoted along with about two other clubs as well. Not as you can see, not there mattered. As we beat La Masia one 0 in the final game, thanks to an Augustine goal six minutes after half time to give us the win and to cement our promotion place 16 shots to 15 in my favor eight shots each and they had 53 percent in the possession so despite my complete mess up trying to explain how i got promoted there we were promoted in the end as you can see we had um i think it was i think we were here sixth and i think in the last game i think we're going well. I played obviously La Masia, so I was level with them. And I think we're going to play Normana, I believe. Let's just see if I can if I've actually worked that out. Yeah, as you see there, Versa Normana played Castel Ragone. So no matter how I got on, I was in, I was guaranteed to stay up or go up, even though I did actually manage to win anyway. So it's good times. We are going up, and uh, we are joined by Pogimrazi, Sasatana. Sorrento, Gavrono, Sozenza, Aversa Romana, and Vigor Lamazia. And I believe one of these guys here, Messina, Ischia, Castel Ragone, and Siete, one of those teams will go up as well. I think it is basically the playoffs now where it is two games, winner qualifies for, qualifies for the final, and then in the final. The winning team wins promotion to Serie C1. So we still could have had a chance even if we did finish 9 to 12th. I do actually believe the f two losing semi finals and the team that loses in the final actually gets relegated with these guys. Um, so we'll just have a look at the Serie C2A teams a second. Oh god, table. So there's Renata, Monza, Castellon, Alessandria, Bellaria, Spal, Virtus Vicom Verona. Sounds like a really rubbish, like Latin blinking motto. Virgolette, go up. Torres, Mantova, D 
Delta Porto Tole and Santa Cangelo go for the last one and I believe to be fair Mandava should do that um, so we'll have a look at some player stats so for us we've got jack shit apart from Marco Frey was actually the highest average rating with 7.6 and the fifth highest with assists with 13 so I believe Giglio was actually my leading goal scorer to be fair so we'll have a quick look Yep, 25 out of 33. It's interesting. Marco Fiori has got 12 out of 25. Unfortunately, he's got one year left on his contract. So he might be able to sign him, but we'll have to wait and see. So let's just have a look at some of the other. Let's have a look at like, uh, the top leagues, to be fair. Um, Arsenal won the Premiership. Mm, that's not bad. Cardiff and Swansea, 7th and 8th. I do believe that actually gives Swansea one of the European places. Yeah, it does. And then we've got in France, it's won by PSG with Marseille and Monaco finishing second or third. Where's Lyon? Sixth. German Bundesliga was won by Dortmund over near rival Schalke. It's interesting. Hoffenheim got relegated. Um, Ireland, don't think anyone really cares about Drogheda. We'll go to Italy, Serie A. It's not actually finished. There's one game to go, so it's between Juve and Fiorentina. <laughs> AC Milan down in 12, bloody hell. Uh, Spain, La Liga, Barcelona won it by 13 points. Um, let's have a look at Champions League. Bayern, Barca final, that's a decent final. And let's actually have a look at the World Cup draw. For some reason, in all files I've actually played, England have actually done pretty poor in the World Cup. So we've got Honduras, Portugal, and the Ivory Coast. There's potential that they actually may not qualify from that, to be fair. And in the Euro qualifiers, we've got Georgia, Andorra, Russia, Estonia, and Ireland. So you, Gibraltar got. I really am tempted to do a file with Gibraltar, I must be honest. Oh, there they are Slovakia, Czech Republic, Bosnia, Latvia, and Cyprus. Have they won a game? No. Scored a goal though against Canada. And scored against Georgia, that's not bad. Um, so, that is it guys. I'm trying to think of anything else I could show you, but I can't think of anything. Uh, but yeah, that's it for this uh, episode guys. Smash the crap out of that like button for my um, first promotion in FM14. To be fair, this is one of the first... Uh, well, this is the only file technically... Um, I've actually completed at this moment in time. Um, this is the only for, well, the only file where I've completed a season of my own, where I've actually meant to do anything. I've done maybe a little late. I've done one season before, but I was just mainly to see if Gibraltar um, league was working properly. So, like I say, guys, smash the shit out of that like button for a promotion to Serie C one. Be interesting to see how the league looks next season, considering the um, the reshuffle. Thanks to I can't remember who it is, but I know someone commented on one of the videos to say why it's nine teams got promoted. So cheers for that, fella. I can't remember who it is, to be fair. <laughs> that is pretty poor, I apologise. Um, leave some likes, leave some comments, guys. As always, subscribe if, if you want to keep up to date on this uh, series or my unemployment and my Bristol City story one. Um, but tune in next time, guys, where I will have the uh, pre-season friendlies obviously and also hopefully a few sign-ins but until that time guys as always take it steady